Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Good morning, party people. I am still in Chicago. Plan on staying here until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, me and Diane's going to jump in the cruiser, head on down to Cincinnati so Diane can spend part of her day with Elizabeth and then get on with the things I got going on in Cincinnati. We'll be in Cincinnati uh, most of the week until Friday, headed over to Carlisle, stay in Carlisle Friday, Saturday, and then head back to uh, Cincinnati. Unfortunately, probably Sunday because I need to pick up a special treat for the Patreon people back there in uh, Lancaster, PA area. So anyway, I um, had a kind of a weird chasing my tail day yesterday. I was helping John with his 850 Turbo. I believe it's a 97. I was going to put a downpipe on it. Uh, do a few more things. Uh, got a off size clamp for the exhaust. I thought it was actually the wrong size because of the label and everything on it. I went and found a speed shop in the Chicago area. The young lady there helped me understand what was going on with that clamp and fortunate for me she had one an identical size that I needed there. So we made a trade, didn't even have to buy the thing. Uh, got back uh, to the place that was going to install the exhaust. Somebody took a one and three quarter exhaust pipe. They cut the Volvo exhaust off behind the cat and welded this one and three quarter exhaust pipe onto this turbo car. I talked to a couple people and one that I kind of trust, he's got Man, his mechanical skills uh, blow right by mine. He believes that he once bought a car that had one of these narrow exhaust pipes uh, welded onto the exhaust like this. He thinks it killed the turbo. Caused too much back pressure, too much back heat. Wouldn't let the turbo cool down and actually broke the turbine off of the back of the turbo. The turbine fell down the downpipe and was stuck in the downpipe, he thinks it was probably because that exhaust was restricted like that. So I, I said all that to say this, if you have people do work on your car, like your exhaust, you might want to look under there and make sure they didn't go buy some uh, $2 pipe instead of $2.10 pipe. That 10 cent could cost you a lot of problems. It's definitely restricting the flow off the back of that turbo, definitely uh, causing him to lose performance and you know, hopefully not causing engine damage. I did have to replace an engine in that car. You know, I don't think it was because of that, but hey, you know, it, it's just not right. Why do people do stuff that is so wrong? Other than that, uh, I got a couple of videos text to me today it's always good to wake up to that kind of stuff uh, I have a, a viewer that uh, really admires me on YouTube that he, he likes being right then helpful you know I'm a little colorblind I'm always calling something blue people telling me it's green I call stuff black people say it's it's dark gray or charcoal you know I I not really in the splitting hairs, you know. I, I I got too much going on to split hairs, you know. I, these debates, man, they take a lot of time, you know. But I looked in the Volvo manual today, uh, their sales manual, and they say most of the 850s in 1996 that came out with leather interior, the colors are officially, officially light gray, which to me, I've seen it, it's the gray, like my shirt, medium gray all day. They call it light gray. 
they have graphite, which a lot of people like to call charcoal, which I call black. You line 50 people up, 98 of them are going to call that black. Some people want to call it charcoal. It is officially graphite. And then they have ivory. I call that tan all day. They call it ivory. Ivory to me is more white than tan, but hey, Volvo calls it ivory. So those are the official colors. Uh, try not to call them out of their name from now on, or you could cause a, a five, ten minute debate. If you got that time, great. If you don't have that time, seems petty. Anyway, I'm going to be here today. I'm going to try to connect with a couple people before 10. Uh, go have my coffee, post this video, uh, get ready uh, to tackle more stuff on John's car. Yesterday, we took the blend door off, found one of the doors that changes the climate control up to defrost and stuff, seized. The motor broke the shaft off. It's just crazy, some of the stuff you find. So anyway, I'm going to get on with today. Thanks for watching. Uh, try not to text me a bunch of videos. Bye-bye. Finally climbing this mountain out of Albuquerque. Coolant's at 225. Oil's at 240. About a 35% throttle position. We're averaging around 5 pounds of boost getting out of here. Going about 65. We should crest this mountain top here in about five minutes and cool all that stuff down. Let's get a pop. Oil's at 255. Coolant set. Come on, 231. Finally made it to the top of the mountain. It's dropping fast. Back here at Byron's V70R with the six speed manual. Don't know if you guys remember us pulling this transmission, finding that clutch that was totally destroyed. Well, he had the car parked out front and somebody thought it was the old car. Tried the key, key wouldn't work, the key they had. So they started throwing rocks at it. Knocked the dent right here in the door. Knocked the dent here in the door. Knocked the dent here in the door, hit the window twice. Window wouldn't break. Looked like they hit the door here. Finally hit this window, busted this window open. Stepped in the car, realized it was a different car. Walked away. So he had a busted window he's sitting here fixing. I don't know what this stuff is here, man. This stuff is tough. Tell me where to get some of that stuff at. So I'm going to lower this window down. I think it's up. And unclip the old glass. And I got a glass over there laying in the grass I'm going to put in here. This is the worst thing about breaking windows. Man, look at all that glass down in there. We'll be listening to that glass rattling this door for... Years to come. Sucks. Need to take the door off. Shake it upside down. Still got glass in the seal and track over here. This seal is actually messed up on this door. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.